I mentioned that there's a format factor that applies to many of the characteristics of shooting, whether it's sensitivity or dynamic range or shot size. It also applies to a characteristic we call depth of field. Depth of field is how much of the distance from the camera appears to be in focus at the same time. It's not how much actually is in focus. There's only one point that will be perfectly in focus, but a larger range will appear to be in focus. It falls into what we call the circle of confusion. And the format factor applies to that too. So if a two-thirds inch uh, format camera has a certain depth of field, then a one-third inch format factor will have twice as much depth of field. Now, that sounds like the smaller format is actually better because it's offering more of a range that's sharp. And there are times when that's something that you might want. If you're shooting some kind of news story, you might want everything to be in focus. In the, the movie Citizen Kane, the cinematographer uh, was noted for being able to get tremendous depth of field in his shots and have everything be in focus at the same time. But more often, you might find that you want to separate a subject from a background or even from a foreground. And that's when you want to have limited depth of field. So um, let's say you're shooting a movie and you want to change the attention from one character to another. You might do that by doing what cinematographers call pulling focus. So you're actually changing the focus from one character to another character. And you can only do that if you have limited depth of field. Or let's take something easier. You're shooting an interview of a, a corporate bigwig. Uh, and you're shooting this person at the desk and you want the person to stand out from the background bookcases or whatever it is that's uh, behind him or her. Well, you can do that if you have limited depth of field. So it works both ways, but I would say probably for most applications, it's better to have less depth of field rather than more depth of field. And the larger the image sensor, the less depth of field you get.